Be Wealthy and Smart, episode 253. Step into a world of wealth and financial freedom without budgets, boredom or bosses on Be Wealthy and Smart. And now, here's your host, Linda P. Jones. Welcome to Be Wealthy and Smart. I'm Linda P. Jones, America's Wealth Mentor, empowering women and men worldwide to financial freedom. On today's show, I'm going to share with you a true fun story about how to cruise and get the most value. But before we get started, I wanted to let you know about another awesome podcast called Profit Boss Radio. Profit Boss Radio is hosted by MBA and certified financial planner Hillary Hendershot, who highlights inspiring women who have created success in their financial and professional lives. Each week, you can tune in and hear how women have paved the road to sustain success with both beliefs and actions. Check it out at ProfitBossRadio.com. Well, one of my favorite things to do is to go on cruises, and I had never cruised until I met my late husband, and he and I had many, many cruises together. I I calculated and have lost track, but I know I've been on over 20 cruises and many, many different cruise lines, so I've sampled a lot, and I've settled on a particular cruise line that I really enjoy going on and now have been on four cruises with that particular cruise line, and... um, Anyway, I wanted to tell you a story, a true story, (laughs) about two different groups of people who went on this cruise line and had completely different experiences and completely different ways of spending the same budget. One, I think, not very wisely, and the other, I think, very, very savvy and be wealthy and smart-ish, if you will. So let me tell you this story, true story. There were two sets of people who wanted to go to the Caribbean on a cruise. We'll call them Team A and Team B. Team A got a seven night cruise from Miami to Puerto Rico, St. Thomas, St. Martin, and St. Kitts. And the budget for both of these groups was about $3,300. Team A spent $3,200 and bought their tickets. They were regular class tickets, meaning they weren't any special upgraded class, and it was a seven-night cruise. Team B went a few weeks later than Team A. They didn't catch the same exact seven-night cruise, but they did catch a five-night cruise to Puerto Rico, St. Thomas, St. Martin, and St. Kitts, and got it for only $799, and it was an upgraded class. There's a special class that if you are in that particular class, you get certain additional benefits. Not only does your room have a balcony, you also get to embark on the ship first, you get to disembark the ship first, You get a special dining room for just your class of passenger, which is a little bit smaller, more exclusive than the main big, huge dining room. And you also get access to the Persian garden has heated tile uh, that you can lay on these heated tile lounge chairs. It has a sauna, steam room, hot tub, Etc. cetera. Of course, you have to pay extra for any massages or things like that, but you can hang out in the Persian garden if you're in this upgraded class. Okay, so team A and team B spent vast amounts of different money on their ticket. Now, granted, team A was getting two more nights, but they paid a lot more money than the $799. $3,200 certainly is a lot more money than the $799 for the five-night cruise that the other team got. In addition to going on the cruise, there are packages that the cruise line gives you, and you can choose what those are, and both teams chose the same packages. One is a $300 shipboard credit. You can spend any way that you want, including using it for your tips, if you want to um, have that pay for your tips, and also for your meals, for beverages, 
et cetera, shopping, whatever, however you want to spend it. And then also they both bought the beverage package. So the beverage package covered not only bottled waters, tea, coffee, specialty coffees, lattes, cappuccino, etc., but it also covered some of your cocktails and wine. So it covered up to $9 for a cocktail and up to $11 for a glass of wine. So both of these teams go on their cruises. Team A goes on their cruise. They choose to spend, take part of their credit and spend $175 of it, of that $300 credit on internet access. Now, cruise ships don't have very good internet because they're satellite connections. So the connection is very spotty at best, but you have the convenience of being able to go right on the ship and use the internet. So it's, it's convenient. So that's how Team A chose to spend $175 of their credit. But the rest of the crews, they were completely concerned about using up their credit because they knew that they already had tips to use their credit for, and they didn't really want to spend any more money out of pocket. So they were constantly writing down how much they spent and trying to keep track of it. But the worst thing was they really didn't understand or ask about their beverage package. So literally, they didn't realize that most of their alcoholic beverages were covered. So they were really stressing, thinking if they bought a $9 cocktail, that it was going to cost them $9 instead of realizing it was covered under their beverage package. And so even if they had an $11 martini, it would have only cost them $2 because $9 of that was covered under their beverage package. So they were really stressing, wanting to order drinks, but thinking it was too expensive. So they really didn't order drinks. And they decided to spend their time laying in the sun and reading books, which is fine, and uh, going to the uh, restaurant at night, the dining room, and then after dinner, attending the free entertainment. But it was hard to take advantage of anything like the specialty restaurant. There are three. There's an Italian restaurant, a steakhouse, and a really amazing California cuisine restaurant. So they didn't take advantage of those. They didn't go to the spa. They didn't shop because, again, they felt like they were really, you know, already had blown their budget. That satellite internet ended up being super hard to connect, and they had a lot of frustration with even getting to the internet. So that didn't even work after they paid $175 for it. And then after paying for the internet and tips, they realized, you know, pretty much all of their budget was used up. But they did go into the ports, and they ate lunch every day at a restaurant in the port, which, remember, they had already paid for food on the cruise. All of their food is covered on the cruise. All they had to do was go back to the ship and eat for free. But instead, they chose to spend their money eating lunch in at the port. Okay, well, that's their prerogative. But, again, they're double paying for something that they have really could have gotten for free if they had just gone back to the ship. So Team B chose to spend their money quite differently. Team B chose to spend their money, $135 of it, on a spa massage. So they had a nice massage at the spa. And they figured they wanted to connect to the internet, but rather than be charged $175, they decided to go on shore. And each day when they were on shore, they would look for an internet connection, a Wi-Fi connection. And in some ports, internet was free, or at other places, it was maybe $7. Uh, sometimes you could go to a restaurant, order a cocktail, and get free Wi-Fi. So really, Team B spent less than $20 on the internet during the trip. And, you know, again, some of that was really for the beverage, not really for the internet. Because Team B also had free access to the spa, the heated lounge chairs, the sauna, the hot tub, and steam room, they could hang out in there. And because of their special category of class, they also had that exclusive dining room where they could eat there and have spectacular meals. So they spent their days in the ports, exploring the ports, and collecting free gifts from the merchants because there was information that if you went to certain merchants, you could get free topaz necklaces set in silver, for example. And so they each collected seven different topaz necklaces for free, a charm bracelet, 
uh, a token coin uh, from the island, etc. And they got all this free merchandise that they could give to kids or grandkids and uh, have some fun with that. They enjoyed shopping, and while they were shopping, they were treated to free champagne wherever they went. So they had free champagne during the day and got lots of free drinks. And in addition, they were able to negotiate some nice prices on jewelry and gemstones and could stay within their budget because they hadn't spent so much on the cruise itself. They had money left over to actually buy some nice jewelry. Again, instead of paying for food on shore, they went aboard the ship each day and ate the food they had already paid for. They also attended certain specialty activities on the ship, like the art auction, where, again, free champagne was shared. They got some more free drinks. They also went to a couple of other things where free chocolate martinis were served. And the last evening they ate at a specialty restaurant with an amazing experience where you order on an iPad and you tell on the iPad, you answer questions about what kind of food you like, and then the food just starts coming. You don't even really have to order. They just start bringing this amazing assortment of food. And that was all absorbed by their onboard credit. So nothing out of pocket, uh, additional on the ship. And so here we have these two sets of travelers took almost the same cruise, but had very, very different results. Now, these people were known by friends of mine. And when one of my friends who told the other one all the things that she did on her cruise versus what the other people did, they were blown away. They just really didn't realize all of the things they missed out on and how they could have spent their money so differently. So it just goes to show you that, you know, you can have two sets of travelers on the same ship, basically the same itinerary, very close itinerary, but have two totally different results. Team A made several mistakes. They didn't shop for a great price to begin with. And that was right out of the gate, a problem where they overpaid for their cruise. Then they didn't get the upgraded class, which actually only costs an additional $100. And they didn't get all the special privileges of going to that special class, like the preferred embarkation and disembarkation, the dining room and the spa. They paid for the satellite internet aboard the ship instead of going on shore. They paid for food on shore that they had already paid for on the ship, wasting money. And they didn't understand their beverage package and what it paid for, so they skimped on their drinks and couldn't really even enjoy a nice evening with a couple of cocktails. So they didn't also take advantage of some free drinks that were provided on board or the free jewelry and things provided on shore by different stores. They also didn't know that they could follow their cruise account on the TV screen. So every day, all expenses on the cruise are posted to your bill, which you can read on the TV in your cabin. So they didn't realize they could be following all of their expenses and what they had spent so far on their TV screen. And so they were spending their time trying to tally it up on pieces of paper because they didn't realize that it was all tracked for you by the ship on your TV. So it just goes to show, if you're smart, you can stretch your dollars, you can live luxuriously without scrimping or being frugal. It's not about doing without, it's about being smart with your money and using it to get deals and educating yourself about what's available and how to make the best use of each dollar. Being a Be Wealthy and Smart podcast listener, I hope that I have shown you that you can always get what you want and buy it at the right price. There is a way to get a good deal on just about everything you want to buy. You don't have to pay retail, but you do have to be smart and look for the opportunities. That's all for today. Until next time, live the good life and be wealthy and smart. Thank you for listening to Be Wealthy and Smart with Linda P. Jones. Share the wealth and tell your family and friends about the show. Check out our website, blog, and social media for more riches at www.bewealthyandsmart.com.